Okay, Asia. All good. Nearly there. Hey guys, so I've just arrived in Henley for the Ellis Kitchen Blogger event. I am so excited to be attending this event um, because Asia is um, nine months old now, and we are always using the baby food pouches and things. She's with me here today. There's my sister. Hi, say hi, Asia. Look at that! Wrong way. <laughs> Not a natural <laughs> yet. <laughs> so yeah, I brought Asi with me today because I'm still breastfeeding her quite a lot. Um, so I thought it'd be a bit of a long day if I left her all the way in Bristol because it actually took us about two hours to drive here. So I thought it would just be too long if I left her at home. So I brought her with me and my sister's going to look after her. And um, so if I need to feed her, she can just bring her to me and I can do that. So I'm so excited to go and see Inside Ella's Kitchen and um, learn all about all their new products. of the event it was such a good day I learned so much about Ella's Kitchen all of the amazing things they're involved with um, as a brand all of the charity work they do and it was just so amazing to um, taste some of the new flavors and learn all about the new projects they've got coming up my survived sister survived with Asia. one explosive number two <laughs> to deal with so yeah overall it's been a really good day so Ursula, what have you been up to with Asia while I've been in the event? She's actually been really good today. So where we are, we drove down the road and we went to the National Trust for a few hours. So a really nice place, big field, big house. We sat and had a little picnic. She didn't cry that much at all. And I was like just praying that she wouldn't because there were so many people <laughs> around. Um, and then as I was walking back, she fell asleep in the pushchair and then I was worried about getting her out the push dress, put her in her car in case I woke her up, which I did. And then I had to change a nappy and it was disgusting. Um, <laughs> You're not used to pooing nappies, no. are you? <laughs> Normally I say no to changing any pooing nappies, but you know, needs must. We did a bit of shopping and yeah, she was good as gold really. Did you enjoy your day, Asia? You enjoyed it? You had fun? Yeah, she looks She's happy. Not sure. She's not sure. <laughs> She's not sure. The car is just full of goodies. I've got um, some goodie bags here and um, more down here. I've got loads of things. I've got um, all different types of baby food. I've got some cookery books. Um, I'm going to have a proper look when I get home, so I'll show you all later. So I thought I would show you a few of the things that I got at the Ella's Kitchen um, event yesterday. Um, I got a really good goodie bag and I picked up a few extra things as well. So um, as you know, Ella's Kitchen are really well known for their pouches and there's so many different types of pouches. I did not even realize there were so many different types of pouches. So apart from the normal, um, the usual fruit ones, um, they've also got yogurts. So there's a strawberry yogurt here and what else have I got? A mango yogurt. Um, also, they've got some new fruit pouches coming out and this one, strawberry, rhubarb and apple, is actually the first ever baby food with rhubarb in it, which I think is really cool. Um, they've also given me loads of vegetarian options here. Um, so we've got veggie lasagna, um, vegetable and lentil bake, veggie moussaka, this is a Thai curry which is vegetable base as well, vegetable noodles, um, they've got cheesy pie with veggies and they've also got veggie couscous and tomato pasta. So this pasta is from seven months and then there's also another one over here 
which is tomatoey pasta from 10 months, so that's a bit more lumpy. Um, what else have we got? We've also got some breakfast options. So this is blueberry and pear baby brekkie. And over here, I've also got some cereal, banana and cinnamon muesli. I've never actually tried any of the Ellis Kitchen cereals before, so I'll be really interested to give them a go. They look really, really nice. There's also lots of um, snack options. So there's some lovely baby biscuits, apple and ginger baby biscuits. And I've got another one, vanilla and banana baby biscuits. There's some um, carrot sticks. So these are kind of like um, really nice crisp options. Um, carrot and parsnip melty puffs. And these are quite new, I think, because we've never tried these before. Vanilla and banana melty hoop. So they look like the same size as the hoop cereal, but they're actually a snack. And they just sound really delicious, vanilla and banana hoops. So I can't wait to see what Asia thinks of those. Um, there's also biscuits, raisin and oat cookies, um, some savoury biscuits. So these must be some crackers, parsnip and poppy seed bickies. And there's also... Um, these are kind of an, a healthy alternative to crisps, I guess. Cheese and leek crunchy wheels. Um, apart from the food, I actually um, got some nice stickers. So I think my older kids will really love these stickers. Kids always love stickers, don't they? So here's some really nice stickers to use. And I've got a notebook there. Um, so I think my older ones are going to take these things from me. Some post-it notes and a pen. And these are really cute. I love these. These are um, carrot seeds. I love veg, carrot seeds. So what it is, is there's just some sticks inside. And um, in the sticks are the carrot seeds. So you literally just plant the sticks, I think, in the garden. And um, carrots will grow. So that'll be really cool because we love, we love growing veg. At the moment, we've got um, courgettes and butternut squash and cucumbers growing. We haven't got any carrots growing in our garden. Oh, we've got tomatoes as well. So that'd be really interesting to plant and see if they grow. Um, also, I received a really cute bamboo bowl. I've, I haven't got any bamboo um, things before. So that's really interesting to try that. Really, really like the feel of that. And it's just a really nice shape. And also this little bamboo spoon, which says hashtag Ella's family. That's really, really cute. So that'd be a great way to serve up the food to Asia. And I also received this really lovely um, vest. I'm a little veg lover. This is so cute. This is so cute. And um, as you can see, it's ethically made. Absolutely amazing. And on the other side, it says Ella's Kitchen. So that'd be really cute to put that on Asia. Um, there's also this baby book. Very veggie baby book. So it introduces um, babies to vegetables. It's a touchy-feely book. So all the vegetables have different feels. That's just really good for Asia. And also I've got this amazing Easy Family Cookbook. I cannot wait to have a look. These, the recipes in this book look absolutely amazing. I can't wait to try some of these with my little ones. Thing I received in the goodie bag is this red envelope um, which everyone gets when they join the Ellis family and um, the Ellis family um, allows you to um, get money saving coupons and you get a war chart and um, a weaning journey map and there's also an app that you can download and um, there's lots of recipes and weekly meal planners and tips from the Ellis experts. So there's my red envelope and inside, so I've got some vouchers, 50p off um, the red one. And what's this? This is, oh, this is the tiny taste bud journey. So this gives you some information about um, weaning. And here is the wall chart. So, yeah, so there's some stickers in there, and, oh, this is really nice. So you can just add in all of the things um, about your baby's weaning journey. So when they took their first um, mouthful, that, what their first puree was, favourite veggies, um, what I loved when I was seven months, what I loved when I was a year old. So this will be really sweet, actually, to fill in, and it'll just be a really nice reminder 
um, of the weaning journey. So sorry about the noise. Asya is just playing with the bowl here. Hey, Asya. Oh, what are you put in your mouth now? Is that you put in your mouth? Oh dear, a hammer bead. Yeah, this happens a lot because my older ones love hammer beads and they just leave them lying around everywhere. Hey. That's no good, is it? So gotta keep my eye on them. So Riyadh has already taken, has already claimed the post-it notes and um, he's busy drawing. What are you drawing, Riyadh? I'm drawing a dinosaur frog. A dinosaur frog? Wow, that's interesting. So it's just gone 10 o'clock in the morning in our house and this is around the time that we normally have our morning snack. Um, quite often I will put it in these um, section dishes. Um, it just get, separates all the different bits and bobs and lets the kids choose what they want. Um, so normally I give them fruit, um, dried fruit or nuts, crackers, that kind of thing in the morning. So today I've just got some bananas, strawberries, nectarine cut up and I decided to give them some of these um, Ella's Kitchen snacks I picked up yesterday. So there's some raisin and oat cookies and um, carrot and parsnip melty puffs. So today, um, this is the first time that they've ever tried these two snacks. We'll see what they think. So I gave Asia a selection of snacks on her tray. I gave her some nectarine banana, one of those oat and raisin cookies and some carrot and parsnip sticks. And as you can see, she's gone straight for the carrot and parsnip sticks. Um, and she's absolutely loving those. Is that nice, Asia? Is that nice? Do you like it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's yummy, isn't it? It's yummy, isn't it? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for updates on all my latest videos. Don't forget that I post videos two or three times a week and if you ring the bell button, then that means you will get a notification when I upload a new video so you won't miss anything. Also, don't forget to check out my Instagram account at Multicultural Motherhood where I post on my stories and on my grid every single day. Thank you so much for watching. Please do let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video. If you're weaning, let me know how they're getting on and what their favourite baby foods are at the moment. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.